I would like first to thank very much all the team, of course, all the team of, of Anelon, with whom I've worked for the last, if I put my face here, is that we have worked together for about 18 years. So we do know each other very well, and I would only put my face if I am, I'm a, you've got to understand, I'm a micro-idiot. I'm a person who works in the detail, whether it is in my business or with a partner. So we, we chose each other very carefully, and there's been a long-standing relationship which is now flourishing, okay? And it's, it's all about quality, it's all about ser the search of excellence, okay? And cookware, of course, <laughs> it's important. So we're gonna do a lovely, that chicken, that's a rook chicken. First, get to know your chicken and that you have, you have something seriously great here. You can see the f configuration of that breast. So a bit of salt pepper, très bien, salt pepper, merci mon petit. Voilà, merci. Take the skin off, mon petit. Okay, très bien. So then, first on the skin side, so that's a new cast iron um, dish that we have done, okay, with uh, anelon. So now, whilst I'm searing, caramelizing, browning my chicken here, which I have seasoned, I'm going to do a, a quick little dish, okay, with this pan fried chicken breast, and you must do it at your home at one stage of your life. It's probably one of the greatest dish you ever have. So, a bit of seasoning on your chicken breast. I, I put it skinless, but you can leave the skin if you want to, perfectly okay. Voilà, a little bit of pepper. Put it on, Monty. Eh? Voilà. The salt inside, very little. You can always add, you cannot take away. Voilà, très bien. So, I want to brown very nicely, very delicately, okay, those, those um, breasts of chicken. Merci. So, we're nearly there. We're nearly finished here. Voilà. Okay, you hardly have any fat whatsoever here. A little bit more, and that's of course going to give wonderful flavor to my stock. And there's three minutes here, so our chicken is cooking very nicely here. Beautiful. The gastric juice is started to run. But you see again, to have a good pan, you've got good conduction of the heat. Yeah. Voila. So I've got a nice conversation here. That's perfect. Then I add my mori. Pinch of salt, very little, only one, one little, no, 70 grams or so of, of, of sherry wine. And I'm going to reduce it down a little bit for one minute only. Yes, yes, yes. And now, at that stage, whoa, a few ma more mushrooms here. You can do it with just bottle mushrooms if you want to, not quite the same. You must buy those mushrooms when you taste it in a moment. Wow, you wait. And there, that's for, <laughs> that's a, it's the, it's the, half of that is plenty. Okay? Okay, you want to reduce it down almost to a glaze. I'm going to cover the chicken with it. So look, whoa. I could use a most expensive one here. That's the Cabernet Sauvignon vinegar. I'm using the cheapest. A good red wine vinegar. Then I'm using a bit of a, the juice of the morels, the dried morels, strain them, and add it a bit here, hop, little by little. It's a 10 minute dish at one time. What one? About 100 grams for two. All this chicken inside here. Voila. And then you add all your vegetables into it. Voila, your garlic, of course. That's a medicine, cab cabinet medicine. Voila, très bien, your tomatoes. Then we add a few bay leaves, a bit of thyme, a bit of marjoram, whatever your favorite herb is. It's up to you, okay? So, très bien. One glass of water in here. Voila. Voila, très bien, good. And just cook it very nicely. It's called braise, eh? Très bien, voilà. A pinch of salt. You see, I put one pinch, two pinch now. That's it. A bit more pepper. 
Okay, that's perfect. And now, about 140 degrees for about 30, 40 minutes, according to the chicken. Okay. Voila. So now I'm going to finish off my chicken here. Voila. Très bien. So about four minutes. Okay. My other chicken is in the oven. At the last moment, I will add the parsley to it. Okay. And, and to it, I can add anything I want, whether it is wild mushrooms, sweets, celery, it's up to you to decide. So that little dish requires a bit of work to start with, but then after, ready in the oven, serve in the pot. That's what is really lovely. <coughs> voilà. See, our, our leeks are ready in about one minute, and we're going to serve our chicken. Oh. Home sweet home. Oh, you're going to taste that. When you cook your leeks very fast. Okay, very fast, because you want that in about, done in about three minutes. Bon petit, très bien. Yeah. Très bien. So we're going to, um, going to serve that just like, comme à Paris. It's just for you to taste it so you understand exactly how lovely it is. Voilà. Please, have a little taste of that. Can you please pass it around, Adam, that way as well. You see, it's a new, interesting, okay? It's a new cookware. It is a, it's a new cookware we just finished with an alarm. And the cast iron, the transfer of heat is nearly 100%. That means be careful. That means you have an, what happened with 140, should have been 110. Because the conduction is so good in cast iron. To me, for, for slow cooking, that's here. Mm -hmm. To me, that, and that one is much lighter than most as a computer. That means it's still, it's still see, it's not, a, it's not, a, it is lighter. So we made sure, effectively, that there's a fantastic conduction, but not so heavy, okay? I'm going to do my, my veal shop. Then, right after, I jump to my master's watercress soup. That will take only 10 minutes. A little bit of butter. Voila, and slowly I'm going to brown this veal shop very quietly. Uh, do the mussels, very simple mussels. I'm going to put a little bit of butter, just that much, for two, just for the, the lot here. Shallots, that's plenty, that's plenty. Okay, shallots or onion, cut them quite finely, a bit more finely. Yes, sir. Okay, très bien, that's plenty. Voila, sweeten them. It's a wonderful English word. It's sweetening your shallot. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, if it's not, and that now, that is perfect. It's nice and translucent. A slag of white wine. That's it, a quick bowl. That's it. And my muscles, where's the time, belly? That's for two, very generous portion. More, 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 Muti, come on, come on, throw it in. More, 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 more. It's quick, more bay leaf, more bay leaf, two more bay leaf. You can put a bit of garlic if you want to. If you want to, you don't have to. But it's a good Frenchman, you cannot help it. Voila. And full bowl, is that too? Okay, a bit of cream, just to cut off the richness, okay, of the sea water and then serve, that's it, 20 grams only. Très bien, on peut serve that? Et voilà. No salt, because there's plenty of it. Where do they come from, those mussels, please, mon petit père? Uh, these come from the river fowl, they're rope-grown mussels. Good. See, that's what I want to hear from every one of my young chefs. Okay, and look, that is, and there. And that's why you have a good pan. You know you've got a good pan. You know, nothing is burned. The conduction is perfect. And you've got these sacks here, which are solid protein of meat, which are golden flavors, nuggets of little pockets of gold of flavor. And when you're going to add just water, mm -hmm. just water. Mm -hmm. 
And look at that Jew. Look at that Jew. Oh, oh yes. I want to dip my bread inside, eh, don't you? See? So we're going to sweeten, sweeten the shallots, okay, here. Voilà, très bien, parfait. Merci, mon petit. Voilà, and a bit of butter. Okay, you put it in. That much, no more. That's for four. That's the only fat you will have in the, you put it in here. Voilà, Dylan. Dylan de cuisine, voilà, très bien. And we're going to sweeten it, okay? Have you ever cooked, eaten cooked onion? Yeah. Nice, huh? When it's raw, it's not so nice. Be very careful with this big knife here. Voila. Hop. So then you put your, your spinach to cut down the pepperiness a bit. So just sweeten it a little bit here. Bring it down, first stage. Full, full, full on, okay? Put a bit of water so it doesn't so it doesn't, it steams up, brings the thing down. So full boiling water here. Voila, so that's ready. So now I'm going to add the boiling water. Why boiling water? So it regains its speed fast. So I lose the minimum taste, the minimum color, the minimum flavor, and I don't lose hardly any nutrients. Okay, by quick cooking. Très bien now, ice. Stop cooking. And just water. That will be the best watercress soup that we have tasted, I can assure you.